99% of YouTubers that I work with all have the same problem which stops their shorts from getting views before we start working together and that is that their titles absolutely suck. And no, I'm not saying that because I'm mean. I'm not saying that because I'm a bad guy. I'm saying that because it's the truth and it's the thing that's holding back you getting views on shorts right now. You might be making great content, which a lot of you guys are, but the titles that you're using on your videos are absolutely horrible and I'm gonna solve that for you in this video. In fact, there are 10 principles that every single viral video on YouTube Shorts has in common and a lot of them implement two to three of these principles in a single post. The most uncommon one is refuting something and you'll see it in 6% of viral titles on YouTube Shorts. This is something like how to make money on Instagram without posting. The reason that this works is because it sounds contradictory and if a video isn't showing on the short shelves, it gets somebody to click. If the video is showing on the short shelf, it gets somebody to watch because they're like, wait, you don't have to post on Instagram and you could still make money? How do I do that? So it invokes curiosity and it gets somebody to actually want to watch a video. And since you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume that you've never actually thought about all the principles that all these viral videos have in common. And that's why you haven't gotten a lot of views on your YouTube shorts. And since you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume that you've actually never thought about the principles that go into making a viral title on YouTube. Because honestly, it's not based on luck at all. Or you've seen some success on shorts, you've had a video do well, and then you haven't had any others do well. I see that happen to a lot of creators too, and the reason being is because they used one or two of the principles that I'm about to share with you, and then they didn't realize that they actually did that, so they weren't able to replicate their success. Or you've posted 50 times on YouTube shorts, 100 times, and have seen no success at all. Even though you see other creators doing almost the same exact thing that you're doing, again, you're missing out on these principles. These are the same principles that helped Tuvok12 gain over a million subscribers in just 24 hour period. Alex Hormozzi gained over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. And they've helped Colin and Samir gain over 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. And once you know these principles, it's going to allow you to skyrocket your YouTube growth also. Because honestly, this is the only reason that they're getting more reach than you. They're not spending more time creating content. They're not smarter than you. They're not creating better content than you. And obviously, they're not better looking than you. So to help you fix this, I've gone through and studied thousands of YouTube titles to find what the YouTube titles that go viral on YouTube actually have in common, especially the ones that go viral on YouTube Shorts. And this right here on the screen is what I found. Oh, you can't see that? Well, you should be able to see number 10 because I've already gone through that, which is refuting something. But we're about to go through principles one through nine, starting with number nine, and we're gonna get up to number one, which is actually the most important principle. And over 50% of viral videos on YouTube follow this principle in their title. For starters, to actually get views on YouTube, there needs to be an audience that is actually interested in what you're gonna be posting about. You see, the YouTube algorithm is very simple. They simply wanna push content to people that is like the content that they've seen in the past. Not the same exact type of content, but content that is from a similar channel or about a similar subject. So, if you're not making it very clear in your title who should actually see your content by using a key word that an audience is interested in, this is why nobody's viewing your videos on YouTube Shorts. In addition to that, you're not using the principles that we're about to go through in specific pairing two to three of these principles in every single post that you do. We're about to get started on these principles. We're gonna go from the least common to the most common. And the last one that I'm gonna share with you is in over 50% of viral posts on YouTube. If you wanna go viral on YouTube, you need to make sure that you have this principle in your title. But before I dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. So please, smash that subscribe button. You will not regret seeing the content that I'm putting out. It's going to help you grow quicker on social media. In addition to that, if you wanna gain more subscribers on YouTube, you need to go to the link in the pinned comment below. You need to get into my free YouTube growth course. It's going to tell you how to turn your viewers into subscribers on YouTube, which trust me, you're gonna need after watching this video. Okay, so secret number two, which 8% of viral videos on YouTube implement, is implementing something epic or extreme. For example, my most viewed video on this channel is how to get 100,000 followers in 24 hours. You wanna know why this video did well? Because it's something extreme. Gaining 100,000 followers in 24 hours sounds extreme to a lot of people, even though I've literally helped hundreds of people do this. Secret number three, which again, 9% of viral videos on YouTube implement, is a time frame in the title. Again, pro tip, you need to make sure that you're pairing two to three of these principles together, which is why you need the whole entire principle list because it's gonna make it super easy for you to pair these things together. If we go back to the example that I just gave you, how to gain 100,000 followers in just 24 hours, what did I do there? I had something epic and extreme and I had that time added into the title. Again, this is exactly why this is my most viewed video, exactly why this video did so well on my channel and you can implement this same exact thing no matter what niche you're in. 
Now I have to warn you, for this video to work and for it to help you craft amazing titles, you need to understand each and every single one of these principles. So please make sure that you get into those because the only reason that you haven't gone viral on YouTube Shorts or you're not able to replicate going viral on YouTube Shorts over and over and over again is simply because you're not adding these principles into your title. And for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna be tacking on $100 right here every single time that I say the word viral. And to somebody that subscribes and comments below who their favorite creator on YouTube is, I'm gonna be giving this money away in my next video. Secret number four, which is 9% of viral videos on YouTube, is making sure that you're creating titles that are for beginners. For example, fashion tips for beginners. The reason that this works is because so many people come to YouTube in order to search for things. In fact, YouTube is the second largest search engine and so many of those people are going to be beginners. I don't care if you're creating content that's for experts on YouTube or for people that are in the middle on YouTube, you need to make sure that you're also uploading beginner tips. So many people ignore these people. So many people ignore this crowd and it's one of the reasons that you're not growing on YouTube short and not growing on YouTube in general. Secret number five, which is using 14% of videos that get a lot of views on YouTube. <laughs> I bet you thought I was gonna say the word. Nope, I'm saving my $100 on that one. But 14% of videos on YouTube use deep desire. For example, this will change your life or this video will change your life. Now I do wanna warn you, this video typically works best if a creator already has a large following or the creator is already famous. If you have three subscribers on YouTube right now and you make a YouTube short saying this video is going to change your life or how to change your life in three weeks, the odds that anybody watches that and believes you, they're honestly slim to none. So if you're a big creator or you already have a cult-like following, I would strongly suggest that you implement this. You'll be able to get good watch time on it. You'll have a high click-through rate on it. And then that video will get pushed to the masses. But if you're not one of those creators, then I wouldn't execute on this one. Secret number six used by 17% of viral videos on YouTube is they implement something that has authority. This could be a location, this could be a brand, this could be a celebrity or an influencer. For example, I helped this creator on YouTube gain over 10,000 followers in just a week. And guess how they were able to do it? They took advantage of Jordan Peterson. They make content that is around Christianity. Jordan Peterson said something that was related to Christianity. They uploaded a couple of shorts about it. Some of those shorts went viral and boom, that's how they gained so many subscribers in a really short period of time. And you could do the same exact thing for your niche. This is one of those things where you're actually taking advantage of several niches. When you do that, it takes advantage of the Christianity niche. It takes advantage of Jordan Peterson or whatever celebrity you're mentioning this. And this is one of the easiest ways to get a ton of views and to go viral on YouTube shorts is making sure that a post that you're doing takes advantage of two niches. Now, this isn't something that you can always manufacture, but it is something that when it comes up, I would strongly suggest that you implement. Secret number seven used in 20% of videos is using something that is news jacking or taking advantage of a trend. For example, if you're in the crypto niche right now, Lana Rhodes, and I'm not saying that she did do this, I'm not accusing her of doing this, so please don't sue me, but there has been speculation that she did a rug pull and stole $1.5 million from the people that bought her NFT project. Now, if you were to post about this and you were in the crypto niche, you would have seen a skyrocket in your views. Why? Because this is something that was newsworthy, this is something that was trending at the time, it is trending as much right now, but two weeks ago it was, so if you were able to hop on that, you would've gotten a ton of views. You can do this in almost any single niche, and this is one of those things you guys need to be hopping on, especially with shorts, because it doesn't take a really long period of time for you to take advantage of something that is trending right now and something that is going to get a lot of views on YouTube. Secret number eight, which 28% of viral videos on YouTube take advantage of, is adding a list into something that is highly searched. For example, seven tips on how to grow on YouTube, or three tips for how to go viral on YouTube, or three tips on how to go viral on YouTube for beginners in just 24 hours. You see what I did there? I showed you how to take advantage of two or three of the principles that we've chatted about. Because remember, more than 50% of videos that go viral on YouTube have two to three of these principles. Ideally, you should be wanting to put as many of these principles as possible into as short and concise of a title as possible in order for you to get as many views as possible on YouTube and ultimately end up going viral. Secret number nine that's used in 39% of videos that get a ton of views on YouTube is adding in negativity. Graham Stephan does an absolutely amazing job at this, which is why his channel has ultimately exploded and I think it's gonna go up even more as the financial crisis begins to unravel in this country. Specifically, I'm in the United States. That's what I'm talking about, honestly. It's probably gonna happen all over the world. But you'll see that he always adds negativity into his titles because humans fear things that are negative, which invokes curiosity, which gets us to click, which gets us to go and watch those videos. So please. Please start implementing negativity into your content. I'm not saying to do it in every single piece of content to the point that you're a Debbie Downer, but definitely take advantage of this because it will help you get more views on YouTube. 
Now it's time for the final and most important tip, which again is used in over 50% of viral videos on YouTube, and that is implementing something that invokes curiosity. For example, this video could change your financial future forever, or this video is gonna allow you to retire early. What does that do? That invokes curiosity about something that somebody has a deep desire about, and this increases the odds that one, if they've seen it on the YouTube short shelf, they're gonna watch the video all the way through to the end, or two, that if they see it elsewhere, that they're going to click on that video. Remember. If somebody sees your video on the YouTube Shorts feed, they need to watch the video all the way through to the end. If somebody clicks on one of your videos, they need to make sure that they click that video and then watch a lot of that video. Which brings me to my next point, which is you can implement the greatest title in the world. You could listen to everything that I just shared with you in this video, but if you're not using the right sound and the right hashtag in your YouTube Shorts, they're not gonna be successful. Lucky for you, I created this video that I'm gonna put up on the screen next. It's gonna tell you exactly what sounds and what hashtags to use in your next YouTube Short to make sure that it goes viral. Because at the end of the day, if you're not doing those things right, in addition to adding the right titles, your video is gonna go nowhere.